Jerry Brown, thanks for joining us again. Good to see you. Good, thank you. Our topic is triglycerides, and we always try to start these with definitions. What are triglycerides? Triglycerides are basically fats. They're found in both animal and also in vegetables. Uh, make up about 90% of, of the fats that we consume. They're also uh, made in the body uh, by the liver, and they're part of cell synthesis and for energy. What's the difference between triglycerides and cholesterol, since we seem to talk about them in the same sentence a lot? Triglycerides are basically one of the cholesterols. Okay. The LDL, or low-density lipoprotein, or the lousy cholesterol, contains a certain degree of triglycerides. Triglycerides are basically lighter and fluffier forms of cl uh, cholesterol, and that they are part of the uh, atherosclerosis uh, development. What purpose do they serve? Are they, are they essential to a healthy body? Do you need them? They are. They're, they're part of the immediate energy that we have uh, for the fight or flight. Uh, they float around in the bloodstream at all times, and they're there for instant energy. They're also around for the cells to use for their normal metabolism. How do you measure triglycerides? It's a simple blood test. Uh, your doctor, your health care provider will order a lipid panel on you which contains triglycerides, low density lipoprotein, HDL or the happy cholesterol, the good cholesterol, and also total cholesterol. Some tests also break the low de density cholesterol down into a very low density cholesterol. What things can lead your triglyceride levels to be too high? Well, the number one cause is overeating. It's the foods we eat, not just the foods, but how much of the foods that we do eat. Uh, as I tell most of my patients, if it comes through a window, it's not real healthy. Uh, it's going to be, be real high in triglycerides. Um, other sources of high triglycerides are the liver. It sometimes can malfunction, creating more triglycerides into the body. The other cause can be untreated diabetes. High sugars can cause higher triglycerides. Certain medicines that we use, uh, beta blockers, birth control pills, antipsychotic drugs can all raise triglyceride levels. Can you have high triglycerides without having uh, high cholesterol, or do they go hand in hand? They generally go hand in hand, but you can have the high triglycerides with a normal or a low LDL. Sometimes the LDL is treated and it's not touched by the, uh, the medication for the high triglycerides. Let's talk about a debate that's going on in the medical community. I want to make sure I get my facts here right. High triglycerides, are they a risk factor for disease by themselves or only when they're combined with other disease uh, markers such as high cholesterol? A little bit of both. Okay. Uh, high triglycerides themselves have been shown to be a precursor in the buildup of atherosclerosis, uh, which can lead to heart attacks and strokes. In combination with higher LDL cholesterol, it again is exponential in building up atherosclerosis. Coupled with high blood pressure and obesity, we call that the metabolic syndrome and is a precursor towards diabetes. What's the medical treatment, assuming one has high triglycerides, how do we treat it? The, the first thing that we do is we try to get patients to lose weight. Diet is a four-letter word and it's very hard to do. The other is simple exercise. Losing 10% of your body weight generally can bring your triglycerides down to a fairly decent level. Uh, the other is medications, uh, statins, uh, drugs that we use for high cholesterol have been shown to help. Uh, other fibrates, uh, over-the-counter omega-3 fish oil, uh, all have been shown to lower high, uh, high triglycerides. You just mentioned it. What about uh, omega-3 fatty acids, fish oils? Let's talk about that, uh, supplementing. Just give us a little color on that subject. Almost first line of defense uh, for high triglycerides. One of the things that we'll do with patients that come in with high triglycerides or triglycerides greater than 150 is put them on at least over-the-counter uh, omega-3 fish oil, about 2,000 milligrams twice a day. It's been shown to, to lower triglycerides. Other forms that we also use uh, to include vitamins such as uh, vitamin B, uh, niacin, also works very well to lower. Let's amplify on something you said just a little bit earlier, lifestyle changes to reduce your triglyceride levels. Diet exercise have been proven and over and over again in almost every study to be almost as powerful as any medication in lowering triglycerides and lowering blood glucoses. Uh, simple things such as uh, 30 minutes of exercise a day 
uh, five days a week have been shown to lower blood pressure, blood glucose, and triglycerides. Cutting back on 500 calories a day has been shown to decrease weight by a pound a week, which is a very good, simple, easy weight loss to help lower triglycerides and also blood sugar and blood pressure. Very well. Jerry, good to see you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate being here.